Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Marva here with part two of getting ready for Africa video. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome back. This video is part two of my getting ready for Africa video posted previously. I will be elaborating a little bit more on this video talking about the vaccinations that are required. If you check on the CDC Center for Disease Control Prevention website, they will list the countries and also the required vaccines to travel there. Some of these vaccines are lifetime, some are good for 10 years. However, the benefit of some of these decrease over time. Um, the typhoid is only, the booster is only good for three years. Like I said before, it lasts in your system for 10 years. However, the benefit of some of these vaccines decrease over time. Meaning that if you're planning to travel to Africa after three years of having the typhoid, you will have to real take it, not just Africa, but any country where the risk so what I did, I took typhoid, polio, hepatitis A and B, Tdap, meningitis, and yellow fever. Tdap is for 10 years, yellow fever, 10 years. However, the typhoid, like I said before, it decreases, the, the benefit decreases with time. So of course, it is recommended to take it every three years depending on how often you're planning to travel to these countries that requires it. To save on cost, when I was taking my vaccines, what I did, I googled and found the travel clinic, as mentioned before. However, when I went there, I found out that the vaccines were very, very expensive. So what I did, I googled again, and then I went to the CVS Minute Clinic. The CVS Minute Clinics are open, I think from nine to seven or eight to seven or 10 to seven, somewhere there. And um, they also have a lot of these vaccines there. A lot of them are covered by your health insurance, which will help you save on cost except for the only one I had to take at the at the travel clinic I was the yellow fever because of course they didn't have it at the minute clinic that one cost me over 200 something dollars I would also suggest that if you're planning to travel to Africa or any one of these country is to start working on your vaccinations up to probably a year before you travel some of these vaccines have to be taken exactly a month before you travel in order for the the vaccines to be in your system and to form that barrier of protection it requires a certain amount of time also, some of these vaccines require that you do two visits, for example, hepatitis. With me, for the hepatitis B, I had the first booster many years ago. So when I went, I only had to do the second one that was required at the time. So it's best to start working on your vaccines at least a year, six months to a year before you travel. This way you can make sure you are fully, fully covered. Also, I know a lot of people are very, very, you know, skeptical about vaccines, 
But if you're planning to travel to any one of these countries where the CDCs recommend these vaccines, it's best to weigh the risk and benefit, not taking it and, you know, end up with something that you don't really want to have to deal with later on. One other thing I did when I traveled, um, I make sure I have these travel size hand sanitizers. I found them at, um, this one I got at Bath and Body Works. Sometimes they have them on sale three for five dollars or four for five dollars it depends and because I found these to be very very handy I had them in my pocketbook every time always this way I don't have to use the water that they have to wash my hands because especially when I go to certain places I didn't trust the water so I use this when I'm out and about to make sure I'm cleansing my hands all the time also one other thing I recommend is the travel insurance when I traveled to to Lagos Nigeria I purchased the travel insurance from Alliance if you google travel insurance online there are many different com companies listed they'll give you the price they tell you the amount of coverage you'll be getting, what they cover, and so forth. All you gotta do, Google, and if you list your age, the country you're going, how long you're staying, when you're leaving, they'll give you the quote for the prices that they offer. I purchased my travel insurance with Alliance. Um, the reason why I think it's very important to have the travel insurance is delay in baggages. On my first visit to Lagos, I traveled from Miami to Atlanta and then I connect on a flight to Paris and then from Paris to Lagos. However, when I got to Lagos on Thursday night my baggages were left in Paris and of course I did not receive my baggages until Saturday what I did I filed a claim with the insurance and of course they refunded me money for losing my baggages for those days that I was without my belongings my clothing luckily I have carry-ons I make sure I have a carry-on bag and another bag with me whenever I travel those long-distance country I make sure countries I make sure I have the very very necessity stuff that I will need and also at least two to three change of clothes to hold me over until just in case I lose my baggages also should in case your flight is canceled for example you travel from Miami to Atlanta and then from Atlanta to Paris for some reason or Amsterdam because those are the very popular um, connections to Lagos for example if you get there and your flight you missed your flight or your flight is delayed you have to stay overnight they will also reimburse you for missing that flight and having to stay to an hotel for the inconvenience also, should in case you're in Lagos and there's an accident, motor vehicle accident, you're sick and you have to go to the hospital, they will cover your health cost. And if you have to be taken back home for treatment within three hours, within, sorry, within 24 hours, they will pick you up in Lagos, Nigeria on a flight to your home destination and take you to the hospital directly to make sure you are very well taken care of so believe you me even if the travel insurance is 20 29 dollars 39 49 50 even a hundred it is well worth it because having to deal with some kind of um health emergency in a foreign country way over there we know it's not the same 
for example, if I should compare with here in the US. Also, one other thing is, as I mentioned before, is the DEET, the off that I use for mosquito repellent. And as I mentioned before, in Lagos, malaria is very, very common and it's deadly. So the information I got from the travel clinic was to make sure I purchased the DEET, this, the mosquito repellent with the highest amount of DEET. I will list a video, part of the video where you can see it very clearly. They also recommend that you wear long sleeve, especially if you're going out in the evening or in the nighttime, because those are the time when mosquitoes comes out very, very frequently. They are more popular in the air. So as a preventative, it's best to wear long sleeve after applying the mosquito repellent. So as I listed before the necessary medication or first aid that I brought with me, Dramamine, if you have issues with motion sickness, which I have, especially having to travel in a plane for, okay, my flight was an, an hour and 25 minutes from Miami to Atlanta and from Atlanta to Paris or Amsterdam was eight and a half hours, which is very, very long. Then from Amsterdam or Paris to Lagos, it is an additional six hours. So of course, because I normally have motion sickness, especially on night flights. So what I did was about half hour before my flight leave from Miami, I took the Dramamine. Also, just to let you know, it, it gives you some kind of drowsy effect, even though it says non-drowsy, it made me a little bit sleepy. However, it settles your body and make the flight experience more enjoyable. So what I did for my long flights, I make sure I wear comfortable clothing dark clothing of course because I'm traveling for many many hours and of course it will hide any dirt or stains um, comfortable clothing hydration is very very important to hydrate to prevent of course some people will tell you to prevent blood clot you get up walk around and continuously hydrate by drinking water of course it will make you go to the bathroom a lot but of course the risk and benefit or cost and benefit way outweigh the ben the cost outweigh the benefit. So it's okay if you have to drink a lot of water and ask, excuse me, to go to the bathroom if you're not sitting at the aisle seat. But of course, it will benefit you eventually. So as I mentioned before, the my first aid and also the medication that I brought with me, Dramamine, Benadryl, antidiarrheal medication, um, painkillers, also, um, like I said before, Benadryl for any kind of allergic reaction. Um, also, that special medication that I brought, I forgot the name of it, that I purchased at the travel clinic, which is good for hydration, should in case I have a food poisoning, vomited and diarrhea, all I have to do is pour it in the water, drink it, and of course, it will help to hydrate your body because of all the fluid that you're losing through vomiting and diarrhea.